Hey, what's going on guys? How you doing? Gypsy Danger 7 is back with the first video of the day, so let's get right into it. And I want to talk about the ADL classifying that okay hands gesture as a white supremacy racist symbol, uh, even the bowl haircut. So I'm not going to talk about the bowl haircuts because whatever. Let's talk about the whole hand gesture thing. Now listen, I watch the YouTube channel A Call for an Uprising. Okay, and from what I've seen and what I've heard and what I studied also, you know, I don't use the okay symbolism because it's the symbolism for the 666. Okay, and if you don't believe me, if you want to if you want to check it out for yourselves, like I said, watch the channel, A Call for an Uprising. But here's the point I'm trying to get at too. So the ADL, the Anti-Defamation League, has classified the okay symbolism as a hate speech, as a hate crime or whatever they want to call it. Meanwhile, here's an actual hate crime going on, an actual, um, you know, racism going on against Trump supporters, you know, the people of color Trump supporters, you know, the blacks, the Hispanics, the Asians, the Jews, the gays, the transgender people, you know, the binary people. You get my point. Because uh, here's what I'm saying. We got Jews who are Trump supporters, but yet they're getting called Nazis. Now imagine that. You know, the Anti-Defamation League was supposed to protect Jews, but yet you got Jews being called Nazis because they support President Trump. Oh, the irony in that. Now imagine being a Trump supporter who is a Jew and, oh, by the way, had grandparents or still had your grandparents to tell you the horrific stories of the events of World War II regarding the treatment of Jews being rounded up, being thrown into these Nazi concentration camps, these death camps, basically, Auschwitz, and many others. Imagine being a Jew and you're getting called a Nazi because you support President Trump, even though you have family members that survived the terror and the brutality of the Nazi regime. Imagine being a black person being called a white supremacist because you support President Trump. Never mind the fact that your family went through white supremacy in the Deep South back in the 1920s, 1930s, 1940s. Hell, maybe even as far back as the slavery days. Oh yeah, all perpetuated by, guess who? Democrats. And now you got Democrats calling you a white supremacist because you support President Trump and you're black. See, imagine being Hispanic and being told that you forgot your culture. You forgot your kind because you support President Trump. Hey, I got the same thing too. And I'm Filipino. Okay. Oh, wait. By the way, I'm also part Scottish, but you wouldn't tell. Can you see all the red hair? Hmm? Anything? Blonde hair? Blue eyes? Green eyes? Anything? You talking about the gray of my beard? Yeah, I know. I'm using my white privilege, ain't I? The small amount of white privilege I have in my body. But where are you, Anti-Defamation League? Where are you at? How, where are you to protect us? Oh, yeah, check this out. Imagine being a gay person, a transgender person, a binary person that supports President Trump, and you're being called a homophobe, a transphobic, like you don't know the struggles of the gay community, the transgender community, the binary community. You know nothing about that, but because you support President Trump, you lose your gay card right off the bat. Never mind the fact that the founder of the walkaway movement, Brandon Straka, is gay. Never mind the fact that Scott Pressler, the man I've been talking about for the past couple of days, is gay. And they're both Trump supporters. And as far as Brandon Straka is concerned, dude walked away from the Democrat Party because he got tired of being used by the Democrat Party because of his homosexuality. They were using him because he's gay. And there's many, many more stories in the walkaway story of how many gay people are in the walkaway movement and walk away from the Democrat Party because they got tired of being used because of their homosexuality. Imagine that. But you, the Anti-Defamation League, your primary concern is a hand gesture. Hmm. 
the double standards of the left. Anyway, that's the video. If you liked it, please hit, to, you know, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. We really appreciate it. If you want to support the channel, um, Cash App links in below, and uh, the promo code is below as well. And um, if I have time to make another video later, I will. But until then, God bless you. Jesus loves you. Holy Ghost guides you. Later.